President Trump is now blaming conservative Republicans for his party's stinging defeat last Friday on health care. The latest round of the blame game came on Twitter Sunday morning. The president's chief of staff, meanwhile, is making it clear that Mr. Trump will be seeking support from moderate Democrats for upcoming legislative battles. Errol Barnett is at the White House. I'm not going to speak badly about anybody within the party. President Trump avoided any criticism of fellow Republicans Friday when he reacted to the defeat of his party's Obamacare replacement plan. But today on Twitter, he suggested conservatives in the Freedom Caucus save Planned Parenthood and Obamacare. It follows a tweet on Saturday when the president urged his 27 million followers to watch Fox News host Janine Pirro. She opened with this. Paul Ryan needs to step down as Speaker of the House. Trump's chief of staff, Ryan Priebus, said the president is a friend to the host and does not endorse her sentiment. I'm just telling you the truth. There was no pre-planning here. This is more of a personal relationship, the president helping out a friend. Priebus says the president is moving on. We're moving on to tax reform. We've got the budget coming up. Um, I think it's more or less a warning shot that we are willing to talk to anyone. We always have been. We're all quite in the dark on this. Meanwhile, there's and infighting among members of the House Intelligence Committee. Ranking member and Democrat Adam Schiff slammed Republican Chairman Devin Nunes for briefing President Trump on possible surveillance of his transition team. We can't have a credible investigation if one of the members, indeed the chairman, uh, takes only information he has seen to the White House and doesn't share it with his own committee. Republican committee member Trey Gowdy. So the commander in chief cannot be briefed by the chairperson of the House Intel Committee on a matter that has nothing to do with the FBI investigation, then I don't know what they can talk about. Today, the president visited his golf property in Virginia for a second day in a row. The White House says he held three meetings, but no further details have been provided. Elaine? Errol Barnett, thank you.